All right, boys, welcome back to the channel, Basc or Nothing. Today, we should be getting six points today. We are playing, what, Granada in 19th and Girona in 18th. We are 7th. I've got a new tactic to show you. It's worked okay. We're quite defensively strong. We're not taking chances, but I think it's long-term after fiddling around for the last few months, fiddling around with things... <sighs> It's something that we're going to have to do going forward with this team. We're never going to be able to play open, expansive, quick football because a lot of players just aren't up to it. We need to make sure we're solid and then can we nick goals down the other end. So that's the basis that we've gone down and it's worked okay. Let's get into it. Smash a like on today's video for me. If you are new and you haven't subscribed yet, drop a sub on the on the channel. It'd be much appreciated. Loads more content, new variation of videos and stuff. Hope you like the new layout with bigger camera and stuff like that. Just improving things. Um, let me know your thoughts down below with the editing and stuff working. She's always trying to learn new things. Let's get into Bascon on it. Let's see if we can get six points today. Alright, so here we are. We are in seventh. Which, I suppose, on the scale of it, isn't bad. We've picked up in recent weeks. We've actually only lost three games. Atletico Madrid, Valencia, and then Betis at home. So, it's just the draws. Too many draws at home. Espanyol, Levante, Alaves, we've done it since off-camera, has been disappointing. We went to a 4-4-2. Last episode, we had the Sarajevo game. We then won in the Copa del Rey first round. We then drew at home to Levante, who was second at the time, I think. We took the lead on 90 plus 3. They went down the other end, 90 plus 4. Um, and then complete heads gone. We played a third or fourth tier team um, in the second round of the Copa del Rey. We did make a whole host of changes because, obviously, I wanted to rest. We do need to rotate. And I thought, well, if they are third division, we'll be fine. And we got Dick 2-0 on a competition that I was actually going to take pretty seriously this year and try and get to a final or something, and then you never know. So that prompted a switch off. We went to a, like a 4-3-3, a three, three, but with three midfielders. That didn't kind of work with them, Atletico Madrid. And I thought, right, I'm just going to reset. What do we have lots of players of in certain positions and then go from there? So obviously I've had to abandon two up front. What we tend to have is... Loads of these players that can sit in front of the back four. A couple of players in Money in, Unai Lopez, uh, Garcia, Sanche, that can sort of like play a Mazzala role. We've got plenty of players, box to box midfields, can do that role. We're not we're not comfortable up front. We haven't got many options as strikers. Right side, we've got Serrano. Baringa, we wanted to give more game time to and has actually played pretty well. So we've gone with this. It's positive, but it's fairly narrow. We have been opening it up on times. We did struggle against Alaves when they played three at the back. So we are sort of like changing. And what I'm finding is in-game, um, especially the games off-camera, I'm going on extended highlights and just tweaking the instructions a little bit as we go to try and be a little bit more pragmatic in games rather than just putting a team out, sitting back and expecting to blow them away. With the quality we are, we have... And where the board want us to do, we're going to have to be a little bit more pragmatic and just allowing these players to go out and play just ain't good enough. You know, Serrano is no doubt going to be a world beater, but he is still only 19. Did struggle a little bit up front, um, so we've moved him out to the right. And then the back four is quite basic. Instructions, we are pressing quite high. And then what I have got is my two uh, wide men, Serrano, Baringa, the inside forward and inside, uh, sorry, inside forward and inside winger. I've got them marking the full backs, because what we found is the full backs were kind of getting forward a lot for the opposition and they were kind of doing a half a job, Baringa and Serrano or whoever was playing there. So what I've got is them man marking and then they will literally come back. And then what 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 I find is when we lose the ball, we tend to get into more of this shape here where it's a bit more of a sort of like a 4-1-4-1. Four, one, four, four, one. Helps us out, stops. And it also means that we try and win the ball higher up the pitch because they're marking them. We press. it. It's, it's coming together. We've... The results haven't really warranted. Like We're in total control of the games. The Alaves game was, was a good game. We had to equalise in the 92nd minute. But apart from that six-minute spell, we played pretty well. And the same with Real Zaragoza, completely dominated. We just Our XG is quite good. It's normally over two. 
Um, same with Ibar, it was over two. The opponents are barely getting to sort of like 0.5. They're not creating many chances. Um, you should, I imagine these two next games will probably play out how the sort of like the first. How many games have we played? We've played four games with it. We're beating teams that we should be beating, yes, but we're picking up points. We've had to change the way we now think about it. Um, and we're going to scrap and fight for every 1-0 victory, 2-1 victory, every point possible. I think that's the only way we can really cause any sort of impact in this save until we either get some more players in or we get the youth products through. Right, let's get into the first game. I believe it is Granada who are way down. We have got the Europa League as well. That's we're coming into the second round of that. We've not had the draw yet of that because it's the first round to play. Um, that could well be next week's episode. Right, they're going with a 4-2-3-1. We're now obviously playing money in on the in centre midfield. Just try and get a bit of an impact. He hasn't. He just doesn't suit as a winger. I've never imagined him as a winger. He says his best position is according to the star rating is a winger, but I just don't. I just don't see it. He, he's not aggressive enough. He doesn't drive that much with the ball. He likes to cut, drift inside and sort of like play balls out to the midfield. So I thought just as a Mazala, he'd probably be more suited to. Right, Granada have got a corner early on. Let's defend it, Christ. Oh, God, we've jolly just defended it. Miller. Martinez clears. Beringa clears. We're not going to get on the end of that. Okay, shaky start, but we've survived. Right, Akpro, never. Ronan, Granada have started very brightly, which is worrying. Or is it more of a just a lack of us not trying? Never's down this left-hand side. Akpro, strike, he's hit the bar. Oh my God. We better ask for a demand more. Right, Martinez. So from me saying that we've been in total control in these four games, we're absolutely, this is probably the worst 18 minutes that we've had since I've changed the tactic. Williams dropping short. Good. Garcia. Herrera. Danny Garcia again. Munayin. Little half spaces, which I like. Yuri on the overlap. He's now we're like wing-back support, I think. Just got him not being too aggressive. Just picking his run, Serrano made a brilliant run into the middle. And has fired it over. Right, Kappa. Danny Garcia. A player that's going to need replacing as well. He's the wrong side of 30, I believe he's 31. Javi Martinez is now not going to feature at all for us. He's, I believe, transfer listed. He wants to low, he wants to play some more game, he wants some more game time and stuff. Next season, I am going to call up maybe two or three of the under-19s as well. We've scored. Munayin, get in. It's more of a relief at the moment when we score a goal. But we're up and running. Nice little bit of football. Nice and patient. We're playing on lower tempo. We're not rushing it. I don't think we can afford to rush it. Apart from sort of like Williams and Serrano, the rest do tend to suit a more of a patient build-up. Munayin has absolutely, absolutely found top bins. 1-0. Let's, let's praise it. Frieda, Simon, luckily was in the right place. And he's going long. So I like continuing. It might do here. Williams has flicked it onto Serrano. Here he goes. He's got the pace. He's got the pace. He's on his right foot though. It's wide. Poor bit of play in the end. Decision making from Serrano. Right, second half. Here we go. Come on. See how we've impressive that after that first 20 minute scare. We've actually played pretty well. Munayin. Yuri. No need to change anything yet. What I do find is sometimes though we do get a little bit Tight, where is Serrano? Serrano's quite narrow. We're not asking Kappa to get forward too much. Yuri is sort of like our width. So sometimes, especially when teams are packing the bus a little, good strike, a little bit with us, we do open it out and start a little bit more to try and create a little bit more space. Especially when um, we did that quite well against Alaves in the last 20 minutes. We're then playing sort of like a back five. Right, Yuri. Throw is that. What kind of a throw is that? We're getting it back. Under Herrera's done well. We still need to make a, a loan deal for him. Probably not permanent. It'll probably be another loan deal. Williams, Baringa. What great football. Serrano, 2-0. Get in. 
Lovely football. When it comes off, it comes off. But we have to be patient. Ander Herrera, Danny Garcia. Serrano getting on it. Williams, Beringa, great football. I think that's the one thing with having the avenues fairly narrow that the Beringa, Serrano and Williams are all kind of closer together. Right, last 10. We're going to do some subs. Um, let's get Nanolskin on for a little bit because he's been injured for some, some, time, some time and I'm keen for him to get a little bit more game time for us. We're going to put Villa Libre on. I've been doing this a fair bit. Villa Libre wants more game time, so putting him up front, moving Williams out to the right because Serrano does struggle to get through games. And then it'll probably be have to be Munain. No, let's go Baringa. Let's get Marcelo on. I have seen a nice shift in average ratings, improving with Munayin as well, with him playing as a Mazala. We did have him as advanced. I think the first... The first two games, we had him as a advanced playmaker on support, and now we've got him as a Mazala. It just seemed to be working a little bit better. Getting slightly further forward. Right, Mosillo. Highlight straight after their goal. Munayin. Working a channel, which is nice. Williams, football again, getting into good areas. That's what we want. 94th minute and there's a highlight, boys. Marcelo's headed, get there. Where's Villa Libra? Nope, he's nowhere. He's unhappy. Villa Libra wants to leave. We are looking at making some big changes next season and really going with some of the young prospects, especially the young guy that we got from Ibarth, the 17-year-old, sort of like six foot seven striker. We may look at using him. If Villariba is desperate to move, Nunes is desperate to move, DeMarcos, the right back, wants to go, Javi Martinez wants to go, um, and then there's a few, obviously Gassi is 35, there's going to be maybe a few changes next season in terms of youngsters, I am going to call up all of the under-19s and put them in the B team for next year, so the B team, what a goal that is to finish the game, the B team is going to be a mixture of all our superb young talent all the sort of like the three and a half star four star five star potential players the youngsters are all going to be in there um next season good football for the but into Marcelo the three two subs combined for Danny Garcia getting in there he's injured but we've racked up an impressive victory despite that early scare we've actually played pretty well there right let's move on we're halfway through the season now let's move on straight on to who are we playing Girona. All right, boys, we're back. One change. Um, Danny Garcia is out injured, so Venciador is back in. Another player who needs to, we, I think we said it last season, needs to play a little bit more than what he's doing. But with us moving on a couple of players, um, hopefully that'll mean that next, especially next season, he'll get a little bit more game time. I have also been reminded about having Villa Libra play more game time, a promise that needs to be fulfilled. And at the moment, it's just not happening. Apart from sub appearances, it's just not happening. Right, first highlight, we've got a free kick. Munayin, perfect position over the bar. Good save by the goalkeeper, was it? No, it wasn't. It was straight over the bar. They're playing with two sitters. So what I think I am going to do is straight away, we're just going to open it out a little bit because if we're really too narrow in here, Let's go on to wide. Might just see us open the play out a little bit. Get them two defensive midfielders away from the two centre-halves. Right, just before half-time. Can we get our noses in front? We're getting a penalty, which is brilliant. We do struggle sometimes with teams that part the bus. And we need a little bit of luck getting a penalty. Munayin steps up. I think he's on for like scoring four games in a row, I think. Munayin... 1-0, just before half-time. Perfect time to score. A little bit of luck because it's a penalty, but we'll take it. It's always going to be hard with us to break down these teams, playing with like, so like a slower tempo. I am thinking about once I've kind of got so happy with this tactic, is then just making a secondary tactic where it's a little bit quicker. It'll be more of a clip balls into flanks kind of thing. Because we have got pace out, out wide. Morcillo's got a little bit of pace. Beringa, Serrano, Williams. Um, we can maybe use Williams as wide man as well, so... We can may look at that as just an option, just to change things up when we need to. Kappa, Vencedor, into your eye. Herrera, into Munayin. Oh, what a ball that is. What a ball that is for Munayin. There we go. What a pass. What a goal. 2-0. We don't score as many goals, but when we do score, 
when we do score, they're bloody good goals. And that's another example. And finally, with my set ball one, because we're playing quite attacking, quite direct, it's all about pace and power, that our balls are often just balls over the top, the crosses into the box, uh, the players running at, running at defenders. Um, this is a little bit more measured, a lot more measured, but it is suiting the, the players that we have. And in time, especially Munayin, we need to be looking after them. We, we can't play a high tempo because these are getting to the edge where physically they're not going to be up to it. So we need to play at a lower tempo, which means that they can be more of a key component in the squad for longer. You know, players like Garcia can still do a job for us at 35. If we were looking at playing Munayin out wide as a winger, ain't going to work because he's already 30 and he's peaking. His physical's all right. His pace is still 15, but he's now going to definitely be on the downturn. So for us to maximise him as much as we possibly can, we need him in a position where he can just just sit in there a little bit. Right, let's get Villa Lieber on. Let's get Baringa off. One more, one more. Who's dying? Who's dying? Let's get Nolskin on again. It's Real Madrid next as well. So that, that boards that boards well. They're they're top of the table. We did beat them last time though. Opening game of the season. We did beat them. Right, looks like we're gonna get one more highlight, whichever way it's going. We're just playing a little bit of keep ball, being nice and patient. Villa Libra's dropped in really deep, which is nice. Munayin, Williams, who we've moved on to this left hand side. Free kick. I don't think it was a penalty, was it? Shock. <laughs> As per usual, no penalty. Right, money I'm with it. Are we going to get one last chance? No, by the looks of it. And all skin. And there we go, boys. 2-0. Happy with that. 18. We've created plenty of chances. 18, only 5 on target. XG of 2.12. I'm just curious of where our shots were. A fair few from outside the box, which I don't mind. That's a bit. So I don't. I don't mind that so much. We did have work into the box on, and I just found that we're just playing slower tempo, and then working. We'll naturally do that anyway with the players that we have. And I, I think playing sometimes having work into the box is just a bit of an overkill. Inaki's quite good in the air. He does get a lot of chances in the air. Serrano is obviously quite good at the. He scored plenty of goals last season, getting in at the fast stick. So I thought. We don't necessarily need to do work into the box. We'll just play a little bit natural, but then it does mean that we have a few pot shots from the edge of the area. But with the quality we've got, with Munayin in particular, and Herrera is quite good from long distance, Dani Garcia is good from long distance, um, we may score a few goals, a few belters. Right, so there we are, boys. We are what, up in fifth. There's a couple of games in Ansevilla. The champions are, what, five behind us. Uh, Celta Vigo, real saucy down our rivals. We're making a little bit of a bit of space opening between us and the sort of like Celta Vigo. Anything below, I'd be disappointed. I'd be disappointed if saucy dad go was Levante have kind of fallen well short over the last few weeks. So it's looking, it's looking all right. So next episode, we'll probably come back. We haven't had the draw yet for the Europa League, but it's starting very soon. So we'll maybe come up with that. We've got a very hard running though. Look at the running. Real Madrid, Betis, Valencia, Celta Vigo and Sociedad. Which when you look at it, Real Madrid top, Valencia above us, Betis just below us, Celta Vigo and Real Sociedad. It's going to be a really key period that I'm going to play in. So I probably will do extended highlights and stuff just so I get the opportunity just to see what's going on and tweaking things. Um, be interesting to see how the tactic actually works. I've done it against lesser clubs and smaller clubs that we kind of expected to dominate the games. Be interested to see what happens when we play it against the big boys. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you smash a like on today's video for me and check out rest of the content. Nice little, if you're quite new to FM, 10 tips for beginners to get you up and running on a save. Um, that's coming out tomorrow night, so make sure you go, go across and watch that. Wonder Kid Revival as well on Wednesday with Churnal Samba. And that's it. All right, guys, take care. See you later.